Uh, my name is Kyle Cunningham. I'm the owner of The Coffee Class. I, I created the business based off the need that I saw as a consumer. I wanted to go to a place that was more geared towards adults, more professionals, a place I can sit and get work done, have great food, great coffee, uh, and I had to create it. It didn't really exist, not in Las Vegas at least. I think our focus on uh, a quality scratch-made product is a little bit different than what you see in most places. I wanted to have a place where the coffee was really, really top-notch. Uh, some places say it is, we make sure that it is. Um, I'm big personally handling our Instagram page. I'm big about social media marketing. I think food should be visual, uh, drinks should be visual. So you'll see drinks that we create that are better, better beautiful to behold. We also have a really high uh, commitment to quality of our equipment that we use. Um, you know, water filtration alone will change the quality of coffee dramatically. So we went with a Rolls Royce of water filtration system so you can taste it in the coffee. Uh, it changes the entire texture of it. I look for my employees to have a positive attitude, to be smiling, to want to be in an environment where we treat each other with respect, and where they expect me to treat them with respect. Um, it's a mutual two-way street. Uh, but now I hire exclusively for attitude. Uh, I can train them on anything I have to know, but I can't train them on a bad attitude, so that's my primary goal. After coronavirus hit and we had to close for a little bit and reopen, uh, we decided to go with shorter hours. We, we found we struck our hours back, our sales stayed similar, but we made more money. You know, less, less labor hours, uh, less overhead, and more profit. My recommendation is to limit the debt as much as possible. Um, if you're going to fund the business, uh, as much as you can do it, shoestring it. Uh, or you get FBA and government backing, that's better. But you want to avoid, in my opinion, private financing as much as possible. Focus on SBA or investment capital where you can. And, and to me, what separates an entrepreneur from somebody with a good idea is action. So at some point along the line, you you have to make a decision to, to jump off that cliff. And you'll be, you'll be scary, it's terrifying, uh, but that's what separates you. Either you're going to do it or you're not. You can't talk about it until the end of time. Just do it. Uh, that's my, that's my advice, and when you're ready to take action, just do it. Nobody's ever gonna tell you it's a great idea to jump off that cliff. People are always gonna naysay, they're gonna criticize, they'll be jealous. So you just gotta do it and hope for the best, and you know what, you might fail, and that's okay. Um, you fail, you start all over again and try again. Our Kevin Reaper students get extra credit for visiting the coffee class. And a thank you. <laughs>